Bruce. So welcome to the first Scripps Research Internship Open House. My name is Dawn Eastman and I will facilitate the first part of today's event. I have on the screen for you today a schedule of today's events. I will start with a brief overview of the various internship programs that we offer. And then Rosie Alvaron Zeckler will moderate a panel of former interns who will share tips on how to prepare for an internship and what they learned during that experience. And then Rosie will introduce a former intern who will share the work that uh, she did during, in, during her internship. And then we will close with Q&A. So here is just a quick overview of our uh, discussion today. I'll begin with an overview of the Scripps Research Institute and what makes us special. And then I will spend five minutes or so in each of the three internship programs that we offer. The SURF program, the AYRIU program, and the BLUE program. Next slide. So let's start with a little bit about the Scripps Research Institute. So we are one of the largest biomedical research facilities in the country. We do basic research in biology, chemistry, neuroscience, immunology. We also study over 40 different diseases. So everything from HIV, Alzheimer's, cancer, diabetes, a lot of really interesting research occurring at the Institute. In our short 60 year history, we've had over 25 drugs go to market. So the philosophy of the Institute is all about uh, using interdisciplinary approaches to improving human health. The Institute has two campuses. Our La Jolla campus in California has about a million square feet of lab space. And our Jupiter, Florida campus, our newer campus, it has about 400,000 square feet of lab space. It's a beautiful campus of three buildings. So between our two campuses, we have over 300 employees, 200 faculty, 400 postdocs, and 300 graduate students. So there's lots of really great people around who are working together on the various research and um, biological and chemical problems that I mentioned earlier. So one of the things that we're very proud of is that Scripps is ranked number one in the world as the most influential research institute due to its impact on innovation. This uh, can be seen in how often our um, research papers in various journals are cited uh, in other people's work. Scripps is really influencing the research that's being done worldwide. So in addition to the Scripps research, we have a number of other entities that make up our campuses. We have a translational institute where we study population sciences as well as computational biology. We also have Caliber, which is like, um, it's an, it's an in-house institute that is able to make drugs. So any of the really interesting research that comes out of our labs, we're able to move it over to Caliber and start doing some um, clinical studies, clinical trials on those um, great potential drugs. And we also have a number of core facilities which are um, housed and run by PhD level scientists and they can be everything from next gen sequencing to cryo EM, lots of different technologies that our scientists and students can use in their research. Next slide. So now let's talk about the, uh, the different internship programs that we offer. The first one I'm going to talk about is our summer undergraduate research fellows program. This is a summer internship program and it's a 10 week opportunity for you to come to either our Florida campus or our California campus and do research in any one of our labs. In addition to the time that you spend in the lab, you will be mentored by our faculty, as well as you get to do professional development workshops. Next slide, please. So here I provide for you the goals of the program. This program is all about getting young people excited about doing cutting edge research. We try to train you to think critically about, about the biomedical research that you will be doing. We wanna make sure that you know if you are uh, interested in getting a PhD, there are lots of things that you can do besides be a faculty member or work in an 
a biotech company. There's lots of different things that you can do. Uh, in addition, we also are trying to increase the number of underrepresented students who will consider careers in biomedical research field. It's all about the scientists who are doing research to look like our uh, population. Next slide, please. So the SURF program, um, there are really three major components of the scripts of the uh, SURF program. There is the research that you're doing and you spend the 90% of your time working in the lab doing research. You'll have a chance to um, work with either a graduate student or a, a postdoc. And um, as you become more independent, you will then be able to work uh, alone on your project. In addition to the research, you'll also participate in professional development workshops. So they are of two different flavors. There are the scientific seminars that the faculty and invited guests will give to you. And this is these are um, opportunities for you to read about different types of research. You'll get to go over the papers that they the presenters are um, doing, and then you'll get a chance to hear the research directly from the faculty. Then there's the professional development workshop. So I mentioned reviewing papers of the faculty who'll be doing the presentations. It's critically important that you know how to read scientific papers. So you'll have an opportunity to learn how to do that. In addition, you'll learn how to communicate your science, both orally as well as written. So there'll be times when you have to submit abstracts of the work that you're doing, and they will be um, reviewed by faculty and graduate students at the Institute. And then there are a number of other workshops that, so that you can uh, become more aware of what your options are as, a, as an undergraduate student. You want you to understand what it would be like as a graduate student, as well as different career options as a PhD. At the end of the summer, you will present your work that you've been able to complete as a poster presentation, and there are competitions for the best poster and research. In addition, there are a number of extracurricular activities that are done with you and your cohort. In Florida, we do really fun things like paddle boarding, and in California, we do surfing. So lots of different things so that you can yeah, get to experience the area. Next slide. So here's a little bit more about the surf program. The eligibility, you have to have a GPA of at least 3.0. Uh, you have to be 16 years of age to work on our campus. And you have to be enrolled in a bachelor's program at a university in the US. Okay, you don't have to be a US citizen, but you have to be enrolled in a program in the US. The program dates are between June and August. Next year in 2021, we'll start on June 7th and it'll be for 10 straight weeks. We do have some flexibility on the California campus on when you can start because we know some schools are on quarters while others are on semesters. Compensation is also listed here for you. We provide you a stipend of $6,000 for the 10 weeks. We have uh, housing near the campus. We provide you with transportation to the campus and then we provide you with food allowance. Next slide, Rosie, please. A little bit about the application process for the SURF program. The applications are due on February 15th of every year, and it's your standard application. So there's the demographic information that you'll fill out, biographical information you'll provide. Then we need college transcripts. They can be um, unofficial transcripts and uh, two letters of recommendation. The most important part of your um, application will be these short essays because we're really looking for students who are passionate about this opportunity. You don't have to have research experience, but we do want you to have um, passion. We want to know that you're excited about this opportunity. So you will show us that through these three different essays here that you have to do. Next slide, Rosie. 
Just a little bit of information about the 2020 admission statistics for the SURF program. Last year, we had 623 applications. We accepted 22 students in California, 16 in Florida. It's about 6%. It is very competitive. And then we thought that you would be interested in some of the demographics. So we had 58% of the, of the participants were women, 60% were minorities, and 10% were international. Next slide. Great, now let's spend a little bit of time talking about the academic year research internship for undergraduates program. This is the um, AYRIU for short. And this program is mainly on the Florida campus and it is a full-time research experience in the lab of one of our faculty members. Uh, you really get a chance to immerse yourself in the lab experience by working full time for anywhere from three to nine months in a lab. Next slide, Rosie. So here are the goals of the program. It's all about learning how to do science. You'll become proficient in the scientific process over your time in the program. You develop how to think critically about science. You'll learn a robust set of research skills. You'll gain independence and confidence over the time that you're in the program. You'll improve your oral and written skills. And lastly, we hope that you will gain a scientific identity. Next slide, please, Rosie. So a little bit about the activities of the AYRIU program. It's really all about research and research skills um, training. As I mentioned, it's full-time research in the laboratory. You're working with a postdoc and a graduate student and a graduate student and then over time as you become more comfortable with the techniques that you're doing and the research that you're doing you'll have more uh, independence. There's also professional development workshops for the AYRIU program including seminars by the faculty and a monthly journal club where you will present and then there's the ethics workshop. And lastly, scientific communication. It's all about presenting your research in lab meetings, as well as at AYRIU specific events. We have an annual intern symposium that you'll participate in, and you'll also write a research uh, report at the end of your um, experience. Next slide, please, Rosie. So a little bit about the eligibility, just like the SURF program, you have to have a GPA, a minimum GPA of 3.0. You have to be enrolled in a, um, a bachelor program. You do not have to be in the US. We take students who are studying abroad in this program. In addition to students who are currently enrolled in a bachelor program, we also take students who have graduated within one year of participating in this program. So if you are graduating in upcoming May, you are eligible for this program. You would not be eligible for the SURF program. The SURF program, you have to be in school when you participate in that program. So the dates for the AYRIU program are flexible, and as I mentioned before, it is about three to nine month internship. And we provide you with compensation of $2,800 per month for this program. Next slide, please. So a little bit about the application process for AYRIU, similar to the SURF program. You have transcripts, you have letters of recommendation, you have biographical information that you provide, and again, short essays that allows you to tell us about your um, excitement for this opportunity. Next slide. I do have time. Okay. A little bit about the um, biomedical laboratory experience for undergraduates, uh, the BLUE program. So the BLUE program differs from the AYRIU program in that this is a part-time program that is really appropriate for students who are going to school close to one of our campuses so that you can work you can go to school and then come over to Scripps, either the Florida campus or the California campus and do research in one of our labs part-time, okay? And in this program, you earn academic credit as opposed to being paid because this is a part-time opportunity while you're in school. Next slide, please. 
So a little bit about the goals of this program. So it's all about understanding and practicing basic um, lab techniques and learning how to do science. You will learn how to uh, prepare a, a lab notebook. You'll learn how to work collaboratively with other researchers. It's really all about learning the techniques and how to address scientific problems. This is the critical, critical goal of this program. Um, you will also learn how to analyze your data. And then finally, you'll be able to um, present your research and you'll, know, you'll learn how to present your research e both orally as well as written. Next slide, Rosie. So the blue activities are listed here. They're very similar to the AYRIU activities. It's all about your scientific research. It's all about your professional development workshops as well as the scientific communication. Next slide. So to be eligible for the blue program, again, a 3.0 GPA, you, you need to be enrolled in a bachelor's program near the California or Florida campus. The dates are very flexible, uh, but it's mainly around your term dates. So, you know, if you're starting your winter quarter and you want to enroll in this program, you should definitely um, look on our website for the application. Next slide, how to apply. All of this information is on the website. It's an, uh, it's an application, it's your transcripts, it's your CV and two letters of recommendation. And here's our contact information. If you have any questions, you should feel free to reach out to us. We are happy to answer any questions that you may have. Um, hopefully you've had a chance to put your questions in the Q&A as well. I have a minute or two, um, Paul, if there's one or two questions that I can address, I'm happy to do that. Um, and I think I have one more slide that I wanted to share. I wanted to do a plug for Diverge. Okay, so quick plug for the Diverge program. So this is a visitation program that we usually have on the Florida campus under normal circumstances. Prior to COVID, this would be an opportunity for you to visit the campus. It was a paid visitation. So it was three days where you get the chance to go to the campus. You have an opportunity to meet with faculty, to meet with students and get to tour the campus. This isn't an internship, but I wanted to plug this opportunity. Um, as part of the program, we have a number of really exciting events, including a workshop on how to craft a personal statement. There is also a um, poster session by graduate students. This year we are going to have it, but instead of having you travel to the Florida campus, it will be virtual. So there'll be the same activities, but it will be in a virtual format. The applications are available now on the website. And the applications open on September 15th and they close on November 15th. We encourage minority applications um, and it's really good for sophomores and juniors to attend because we talk all about preparing for graduate school. All right, I think that's the end of it. Oh, and I do also wanted to mention that um, many of the workshops that Rosie and the rest of the team have been hosting in this first virtual seminar series are available um, via YouTube and our website. So please look out for them. So Paul, is there any questions that I should address now before I turn it over to Rosie to introduce, oh, time went by so fast. <laughs> yes, and I'm having a hard time keeping up with all these questions. Thank you all so much for your questions. Uh, Dawn, if you wanted to answer one of these questions, I would say there are some questions about um, students asking if the programs are designed for people who do not have a lot of research background. If you can address that. Yes, that is exactly the purpose of these internship programs are to give you experience. So you don't have to have a lot of experience to participate in these programs. Would you agree with that, Rosie? 
Yes, it's perfect for you to get experience. You don't have to have experience. If you're looking for um, the best way to um, show your potential and your excitement, I would encourage you to reach out to your faculty of your lab courses and have them um, submit letters for you. We'll talk more about that during our Q&A at, at 1.30 or 4.30 in, in a couple of hours.